So it will make us anger. It made me angry. Policemen killing children. What? Africans? We were tired of only having stones to throw while you shoot us with bullets. Upstairs, not downstairs, you know what I'm saying? The Meters is a song uh, that's produced by uh, the boys upstairs. And the whole concept really is based on, you know, it was all about education in our land, you know, uh, jobs in our land, equality in our land, the land, and so on and so forth. And for me, I took it back to how in the hood, when you make a million, you know, people say, you know, you made a meter. If you got five million, that's five meters. And I felt like it was such a good parallel to the meters of land. We all here for the meters, all here for the meters, all here for the meters, all here for the meters. We don't need millimeters. The thing is, Kalushi's story and many other people's stories are stories that actually need to go to the youth. You know what I mean? It's information that needs to be passed down to the youth. And hip hop is the sound of the times when it comes to the youth. The crazy thing about people like Kalushi and all of them is they actually died in their youth. Solomon Kalushi Mashlango. You are hereby sentenced to death. You will be taken to Pretoria Central Prison on a date to be set, and you will be hanged by your neck until you die. So I think that it's very important to find a way to tell those stories because those stories actually inform, you know, the youth. Every ghetto from Tembisa to Katehong, Alexander to Soweto, Kaya Licha, Kuku, let to let him not. Every ghetto, Rechabat, and even Eldos, all my niggas in the bando, we gon' always represent you, let him not. The subject of the song is pretty much like a subject that uh, I've been meaning to talk about for a while. Telling that we want the land back, we don't, we don't want to clap back. We just wonder where the racks at. Can't you bring him where the blacks at? Every corporation just to get a meeting, drop a hundred in the backpack. And then for thinking I'ma need a million just for me to even see a contract. You playing games, I'm on contract. I'm on prepaid and a contract. I think society is very influenced by politics and history. The kids today are affected by history. Uh, the economy today is affected by history. So when it comes to you know, the subject has been in the back of my mind for a very long time. And so when it came to write a song for this story, the only thing that kept running through my mind was, you know, a lot of people did a lot for the land. You know what I mean? A lot of people fought for the land. A lot of people risked their lives for the land. Whether it be education on the land, whether it be jobs on the land, equality, it was, it was all in the name of the land. So when it came to writing this song, it was really based on that, you know. Sitting here complaining about how you're oppressed in your own land won't solve anything. So the youth can't think that, you know, people in the past fought and that was it. That was the end of the fight. We're done. It's, it's not like that at all. We have to fight for it every day. You know what I'm saying? So all these privileges and responsibilities are actually things that we should appreciate just on the level of how much people were willing to risk their lives, you know, for us to actually live. One day, we will be free. Tell them that we want the land back. Maybe we can pay the tax, man. Half a million, I don't have that. Maybe I can give you half that. Need a quarter million just to make a billy. JSC don't really have blacks. When I get it, I'ma share that. Chris Honey would have had that. Yeah. Solomon would have had that. Yeah. Man, Kalushi would have had that. Yeah, I think we should all have that. Yeah. <laughs>